Let's talk about five shortcuts I use that have personally saved me hundreds of hours on video projects. And that's not an exaggeration. These will add up to save you a ton of time. I hope there's something in here you didn't know before. Before we get into this, if any of your keyboard shortcuts do not match up, all you have to do is come over to edit, go down to keyboard shortcuts, and you can change all of your shortcuts in this window. Number one, using J, K, and L to rewind, pause, and fast forward. When you're playing back through your footage, you don't want to watch it at normal speed. It's just a bit slow. So let's speed this up. Press L to fast forward. This will make it two times speed during playback. You can press K to stop it and press J to play backwards. Play backwards at two times speed. If you press J again, press J again, and it'll be three times speed backwards. Likewise, if we press L, it'll play forwards, press L again, two times speed, press L again, three times speed. So as you can see, this is very helpful when you're scrubbing a timeline and just want to watch back the video quickly. Number two, using Q and W to cut everything before and after the playhead. So after using L to scrub through this at three times speed, maybe four times speed, we see that I start talking around this point, and this is where the waveform starts. Now, traditionally, you might come over, click on the razor tool, or maybe you're using the shortcut to press C, and then you'll make the cut, come to your selection tool, or use the shortcut V, and then you'll come back to your timeline, delete this clip, and then you'll either drag it over, or let's undo that using Control Z, or select this area and just press backspace to delete that. But that is wasting a lot of time. Or we can come to the start, use our new shortcuts that we know, which is Q, to cut everything before the playhead here. So let's press Q. As you can see, everything before the playhead was deleted. Now let's say, since we see the waveform ends here on our timeline, let's drag our playhead over to that, and we wanna get rid of everything after that. So let's press W. And now as you can see, using Q, we deleted everything before the playhead, and using W, we deleted everything after. Number three, using A to shift everything after your cursor, and shift A to shift everything before your cursor. So let's say you want to select all of the clips in your timeline. If you have a long timeline, you might have to zoom out by pressing the subtraction or minus key, and then drag to select all of this. But with the simple shortcut Control A, you can also do this without having to zoom out. Let's say you want to select all of the clips after the playhead here and leave these two clips unselected. Then you'll just press A on your keyboard and that will bring up the track forward select tool. Then you'll just click on the clip you want to start at. And as you can see, everything to the right was selected. On the other hand, if you want to select everything to the left of your cursor, just click on Shift A instead of only A, and you can select those clips to the left. Number four, using B, N, and R to make small adjustments. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, let's start off here using the shortcut B. This will bring up the ripple edit tool. Now what this does is if you drag at a cut point, so let's drag right here, drag this to the right, then it will delete everything that you drag over. So. Let's say we only want everything from the playhead here to the start of this waveform, this audio waveform here. Select our ripple delete tool using B and then drag over from the cut point to our playhead. And that will delete everything to the left. So it's similar to the Q key that we used before and vice versa, if we wanna drag everything to the left, it'll get rid of everything to the right of the playhead, which is similar to our W key that we used before. Now let's talk about the rolling edit tool, which you get to using the N key. So let's press N and now we have our rolling edit tool. Similar to the ripple edit tool, we will come to a cut point and then we will drag to the right. And as you can see, it is extending the clip to the left rightwards and bringing the clip to the right rightwards as well. It will extend one clip and shorten another. So let's say we wanna bring this right clip over to here. So it's starting here and we want this clip to end earlier. So let's select the cut point and drag it over. And finally, we have the rate stretch tool, which you can get to using the keyboard shortcut R. So you come to a cut point, the start or the end, and then we'll just, we'll drag it from the end and just drag it to here. And as you can see, our clip is sped up accordingly. Now let's undo that using control Z. I like this tool because usually you'd have to come in, right click, go to speed duration, and then change your speed here. Now you can also set up a manual shortcut for this if you want, but the rate stretch tool, let's press R again to get back to it. You can just choose where you want the clip to end or start. So you can have a little more hands-on artistic control with the speed here. Number five, and this may seem very simple, but it's very helpful and saves a ton of time using shift E to enable and disable clips. Here's what I mean. Okay, so this one is relatively simple, but it is one of my favorites and it's very, very handy. So let's say you have some clips that are stacked on top of each other. For the sake of this, I'll keep it simple and just have this color mat stacked on top of our video clip. Now, I don't necessarily want to get rid of the color mat because I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. 
but I want to see what it looks like on and off. So what I can do is use the shortcut Shift plus E, and what that will do is disable the clip in the timeline. As you can see, it, it gets grayed out a little bit. You can reverse that with Shift E again, and it will enable the clip. Another way you can do this is right clicking on the color mat and then selecting the enable button. But Shift E is a lot faster. And this is really helpful, say, if you have three color mats, maybe four, stacked on top of each other, they're all doing different things. You only want to see certain ones at one time. So let's say you only want to see this top color mat and this bottom color mat. So you can select these two middle ones, click Shift plus E, and it'll disable these two middle ones but not delete them from your timeline. I hope you learned something from this or at least brushed up on some of your keyboard shortcut knowledge, but hopefully this was helpful. And trust me, if you can learn to consistently use these project after project, you will save hours and hours on end. If this did help you out and you wanna see more content similar to this, make sure to like and subscribe. I also left a link down below to download Adobe Premiere if you want. And if you have any interest in chatting with me, you can book a call down below. Thanks for watching.